uh, sorry going over the important things the important things that i have to say in this video are okay uh, the first application when i try to apply it, the btm for the first time it was not recorded or corrupted i don't know what happened so basically you don't see me the first time trying to apply it but the main takeaway was first thing even if you put it in the refrigerator like other people had recommended i didn't put it in the freezer because that had moisture and didn't want to risk it so i normally put it in the refrigerator with the uh, outside packaging packaging it is still quite difficult to apply it yourself hence i recommend getting the at least getting the 40 by 80 point so that's the link uh, so the second largest I, I tell at least get this okay even if your cpu gpu die is small get it because this will take a few tries especially if you are new which most of you are it will take a few tries and the amount of time it takes about a month to deliver it will be fine if you just take at least this okay and getting the 80 by 80 is even better if you have uh, if you can if you can otherwise uh, uh, economically this makes more sense it is difficult to apply it's like putting a butter slice you know the butter slices that have plastic seeds on the both sides it's like putting it like that it is it was difficult okay it was not easy but uh once i removed the removed one part of the plastic putting it on the cpu and gpu and then removing the other part that was quite easy okay you uh, included tool didn't help that much in the first application i think i messed up the gpu okay when i tried to apply the gpu one i th i thought that i missed it because the gpu hotspot temperatures easily crossed over 100 degrees so that's the video let me let me prefer to find the video <laughs> so this was the first application there is here is where the recording should have been am i talking yes i am talking uh so where is it let me show you let me show you the cpu temperatures were fine at the first try here so here you can see the hotspot temperature is 101 degrees and that shouldn't happen and the gpu is 86.2 degrees uh, i have to confirm it but from what i remember the nvidia gpus don't cross 87 degrees so basically the gpu is thermal throttling and i think i think the reason for that i think the reason for that and also the reason for the dying loqs is these these put when i did the first live stream i looked at this and it even then it felt like that these these put as, as you see here these things are not properly uh, in contact neither here nor on chips here and not on these okay i there is i think a few of them and even also here so um, let's ignore the cpu and the gpu every other chip that are on the outside i think most of them are not in contact and you, you can even see if they have gotten quite dirty now okay so that will be the next thing that i'm going to do i will dig into it what will be the best thing to buy what will be the best thing to get i i think i shared a video of a brother who desperately needs who works quite a bit so yeah that's jelly uh, snarks domain uh, he works quite I'm feeling dizzy a bit. So yeah, he works quite a bit. Thanks, Snark Norman. He has made a thermal putty guide. Go watch it. I will also watch it and try to figure out what I can get in India or what's better. Maybe getting it from outside or something. Uh, maybe Opsiren UX Pro thermal putty, but I'm not finding a source to get it in India. But yeah, I will try to do that. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling well right now. I will have to lie down. Uh, moving on, moving on. I want to find this footage. CPU was immediately fixed in the first application. Yeah. Uh, the second application, I didn't remove the material from the CPU. So, yeah, what people keep telling is that if you, uh, the thing with PTM is, if you try to, even if you remove the uh, thermal module and try to put it back again, they will still work. I wanted to test that theory. So, this is the second application, what you see here this time i uh, changed the ptm on the gpu but i didn't change it on the cpu as you can see as you can see i just opened it up to both have ptm i removed the gpu one but i didn't change the cpu one and still it was working fine so that is what was expected moving on uh 
oh yeah quite a few of these issues were also present in the LOQ 2023 so uh, I'm talking about the higher CPU high, higher GPU memory temperatures okay in the old video I don't know where it is timed I will have to find it somewhere here but it, it's it's here it's here so what happened was in the old LOQ also the outside chips they were not in contact which which caused which uh, was the reason which was the i don't think it's in this video there was a russian guy who made a video properly but basic the basic thing was uh, in the initial 15 14 15 days when this laptop was being sold so the initial units uh, the thermal pad wasn't touching the the thermal pad these these were they weren't touching these so the memory temperatures not the hotspot gpu temperatures the memory temperatures so this one you see the memory temperatures they were crossing 100 degrees which was easily fixed which was easily fixed with application of a thermal putty or a paste whatever you call it moving on are you guys saying something once you become a yeah, big fan i am also thinking of ordering a big fan for the laptop minus 75 okay all right CPU, yeah, see the CPU. Yeah, also, uh, I know some some people will try to um, some people will get confused. So CPU package versus core time. This thing confused me a lot in the beginning. Okay, so I have these kept confusing me. So what happened was, as you can see earlier, the core temps. So if I open right now, right now my CPU is also I think stressed a bit. Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, GPU is being used. So DaVinci is always working. It, it is stabilizing this particular footage. So what you will see here is the core temperatures. Okay, these used to be quite high. The core temperatures used to be quite high. Uh, sorry, not the core. Sorry, sorry, core were fine. The package temperatures. You see this 73 degrees. These used to be quite high. Okay, so this didn't happen with all the cores. This happened with a even if it happened with one core, it would immediately so more than 100 degrees. So what you are telling right now, Amit, what you are telling right now, that problem is nowhere here. Okay, it is 75, 80, 70, 85 CPU and CPU at 77, 97 to 108. That problem went away. Ah, yeah, moving on, moving on. Uh, my GPU temps are still hot, but yeah, the GPU hotspot. So I have to look into it if it is uh, actually an issue or I think it is an issue because the GPU is not performing to its 100%. It's like 94%. That is not expected. So yeah, one thing. And I think this is the reason for the failure of LMP2024. I might be wrong. This is just a theory, but I think those are the reasons okay the last time it was the vram modules i think it's time this time it's the other chips which i will i, I think i already talked about upside and ux pro snars domain already made a video on using upside and ux pro thermal putty here as you can see and honeywell ptm 7950 sheet here okay so brother already has done that video i will also watch it i have to watch it and we will maybe order this also okay maybe order these are quite uh, so instead of getting a thermal you know thick thermal pads on the other parts maybe getting this don't order it yet i need to look into this oh, please stick to english please uh, the vram not touching the copper pipe isn't new this happened last year i think no i will have to change this i have to find that video where it is i am no expert at overclocking as i said i am no expert I did a few things. I just undervolted a bit as I showed in the video. That's all. CPU fan speeds are wrong. Okay. Let, let me just make that quite clear. Uh, I had to actually run the software which I didn't, which I forgot to run. So I have to run that software in that was in this video, which I didn't run. So I, so they are wrong. 5800 H, 5800 RPM that you keep seeing. That's wrong. Okay. In the 3D mark, this is wrong okay this is a <sighs> anyways thanks for coming on the stream i will make a shorter video talking about this i will make a shorter video uh talking about this intelligent this which is yeah 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 even gamer nexus talked about this quite a bit 
but yeah intel didn't specify what are the safe temperatures to run to their manufacturers they just said go run go use any values you want which is quite normal which would they had been using for earlier generations but this generation what they did was I, they messed up they couldn't find a better way to manufacture a better cpu so instead of making a better efficient cpus like amd is doing they just put in a lot of power and i think that is the reason also this is not only happening on the laptop side just to wish just to confirm this this has been happening on the uh, desktop side also so the 14700k 14700 uh, uh, i think i i think i only saw 14700k but i have not been looking into it uh, properly so let me try to find that where is it it, it was in a post ah uh, yeah here it is is 14900hx too much pc specialist there is that video i'm going to i like that i hate these keyboards uh i hate this this black switch i'm going to attach that video here yeah i think the problem has started from intel only. problem started from them and the question the thing is now that everyone is you know confused what to do they are they keep blaming each other laptop companies are blaming the other companies they are blaming this company everyone is doing that uh if people uh who were confused about the what are they dying laptop dying issues are i already covered two cases that came across that came across where is it on the indian channel so there are two people who already had dead laptops uh, i have put them in the thumbnail also and there, there are links there which you can see if you go to that video i think that video is in two part english and hindi for the same reason so that's the first post or the 476 and 478 oh. okay i will fix that i will fix that but yeah 476 and 478 here are the two uh, i think i reshared it maybe i can find that also so those are two people who got laptop after discussing with me and 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 it died where is it not 519 it was a few days ago six i think seven or eight days ago no 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 five one two not no do i not have it here what was the order id four seven six four seven six no i do not have it i have to run that script again yeah here it is person six i should probably reshare it i have shared it on this channel community post and also reshare this one so you can read what they exactly had to say i so his laptop died after playing Hogwarts legacy and his laptop also died it was normally playing gta 5. Uh, um, following that i have stopped recommending the 13th and 14th gen loq I think one person has no oh no that was 13 or 14 gen only no none to of the 12th gen or the AMD LOQ 2024 have had these issues okay I will update this in the post and I will update this I think you can find the links to them them here okay and, and below that I have put a few related posts which you will like so yeah now the post of here where a, a lot more people commented Oh no, only one, two person, two people commented who didn't contact me before going up, up but yeah, uh, they got, one got a refund, the other also got a refund, I don't know if you got a refund or not, did you get a refund? I don't know if you got a refund or not, but probably got a refund because it got, bought the legion. 
so yeah most people are getting refund at least that's a good thing uh yeah i think last before before leaving i want to cover that game and access intercity that's that video is quite important I don't know which one was it exactly, but I think it is one of these videos. I think it is one of these videos. Okay. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. So yeah, that's all I have. I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I don't, I, even I got to go. I, I can't ever, yeah. I'm not feeling well. I'm, do share it once you share it just comment on my channel share it in a post or a video once you are done just comment it on my channel and i will look it in the next live stream where i will go over the issues the amount of medicines i am having right now so yeah brother i i need rest thanks for coming on the stream over here let's that's a generic thing that i do uh prathamesh amit Madhur, I don't see the older chats here. I don't see the older chats. Yeah. Even if I missed you, thanks for coming on the stream. And see you guys again.